Alright, DK is going for the fast expansion. Moon getting ready for the hard counter. He's got the Hunter's Hall already, creeping a fast level 2. Picking up two rings. But no second Ancient of War. Hold on. A lot of undeads nowadays, when seeing a, key a Keeper, they just go for an Arab Tower and don't go for a full expansion. Too afraid of a push. And yeah, here as well. This Ziggurat is going to get cancelled. And Moon canceling the expansion, getting Huntresses, could start the tech now and then expand right after. And I've, I've been thinking for a while now. Wouldn't it be good if the Keeper right now went to his gold mine, crept that one, and then expanded there on the spot instead of proxy? Forcing two coils here, maybe, to save the ghoul. The crux of this game will still be the expansion. We all know, as good as the keeper is early, late game, his prowess falls off significantly. And the more time that ticks by without the elf having an expansion, the more worrisome it becomes. Wait, that's, that doesn't wake up the creeps? Oh, Moon figuring out a new tree of life placement. Pretty cool. I wasn't aware of this one. Double ring for the keeper. Really not that good. Oh, money detonate. Mm, nope. Not really. DK though, with fast creeping, level 3 already. He's got amazing items for the Lich. Gloves and the big claws. Whee! That ghoul, lucky to get away. Nice movement on the units for Moon. Almost getting some hurt ghouls on the way home. Moon is also lacking a bit in experience here. If his tree of life was now to be found by the ghouls, it would be pretty much instantly GG. But Wonder has no way of knowing where the tree is exactly. Of course, he must assume. Oh, wait. One ghoul getting caught by the hunts. Keeper's getting very close to level 3. This game isn't looking bad for Moon, I would say. Especially if he gets a quick level 3 now. <clears throat> Detonate here against the four skellies would have been so sick. Wonder is trying to save as many of the ghouls as he can. Two hurt ones following around the southern side. Thank you, Ebo Seixa, with the resub. And Kefka Time also. Thank you for the resub. And that's a good retreat by 1 to 0. Only lost a single ghoul, or maybe maybe it was two, but yeah, it wasn't many. And we see Moon deciding for the Dryad strat. Mass Dryad expansion is something that hasn't been meta for quite some time. Keeper is so, so close to three, but needs a bit more. These rings, by the way, not so good for the Keeper, but will be really good for the Demon Hunter. Bonus armor on the Demon is very, very appreciated. Sometimes even feels necessary. And the Demon will need Solo Creep very soon. He needs level three badly. So I'm very surprised that the Keeper is sticking around for this long. Soaking up a lot of XP. <clears throat> Moon going for tree it's level 2. I'm gonna have a bunch of those. I like the sharp position a lot. Even using a bit to creep here. It's kinda nice. 
And yeah, like I said, time to power level this Demon Hunter. Mana burn and evasion, no room for immolation here. Big mana potion found by 1 to 0, sniping the item in the middle. But Moon right now is getting way more experience, and it's great items for the Demon. Bonus armor, bonus HP, super clean creeping. Moon is just rushing from one camp to the next. Great creep route here. This is indeed very fast power leveling for the Demon. He might be able to get close to level 4 at this rate. Oh my god, plus 12 armor, baby! Let's go! I think Moon is favored here. We got the expansion, the nice timing. He's done incredible creeping. And one to zero still needs a little time to get ready for the attack. I would really like to see Dryad upgrades. I think that's the biggest problem when playing mass Dryads, not having enough upgrades. Oh, look at Moon, out on the map. Trying to force, force a fight early. Beautiful engage on the Demon Hunter. He came in late, didn't get Coil Nova, can throw out a ton of burns now. And the destroyers aren't ready. That's definitely a Fiend kill right there. Next mana burn, ready now. Oh, wow. Moon with a sick first map. Demon Hunter now getting nude, getting focused, like to the heal potion already. That's two Fiends dead. Before the destroyers were ready. Perfect time for the engage. Beautiful. Beautiful game by Moon, man. What a showcase of an amazing game here. This game is totally over. Totally, totally over. Oh my god, the statue goes down as well. Wow, what a demonstration of force. Amazing first map by Moon. Terrifically played. Deserves that one. As much as anybody, as any player ever deserved a win. Has the staff as well to save the demon. Healing up now. It's like Moon didn't even lose much. But he is back down to 50 supply, I guess. But 1 to 0 has a lot less than 50. 1 to 0 is not going to give it up yet. But uh, this one looks hopeless. Very impressed. Very impressed with Moon here on the first map. Does Dryad Poison stack? Yes, it does. But the damage over time doesn't last very long. It's not like Wyvern, where the damage over time lasts, lasts super long. But, it, you know, it does a bit of damage. And it does stack. Moon's still not going into upkeep. He's starting to be a bit greedy. Trying to squeeze as much gold as he can on the gold mine. This is the right attempt at counter by 1 to 0. Meat Wagon, Disease Cloud, is extremely good against Dryads. But of course, Moon's already going to tier 3. He's getting ready to transition into Bears. And that should be enough to win this game for him. The Dryad control is looking wonderful. Oh, what a heal scroll. Only losing the first Dryad now. Moon, really showing up today. What a stellar performance by the Knight of Goat. He can get that one. Level 4 now in the Demon. Keeper almost there as well. And an Ancient of Wind for good measure by Moon. Why not? Some talents would be quite nice. Moon easily has the resources for all of that. Guys, for the Demon Hunter are so good, dude. This bonus armor and bonus HP, so amazing. Oh my 
god, one is getting bullied. I haven't seen one zero have this much much trouble against just simple hero shenanigans. Quite some time. Moon with a hell of a performance on the first map. We'll see if he can keep this level of play up. To be fair, one zero could have also been playing better. I imagine on the following maps, one zero is gonna show a better side of himself. Hippogriffs also work. Doesn't have to be talents only. Bear Master Training coming. Wellspring as well. It's also nighttime. This is indeed a masterclass showcase. Where Moon is insanely far ahead. What do you guys think the win, per win chances here are for 1 to 0? In percentages. I think it's less than 1%. It might be like 0 0.1%. 30%? Alright. You guys are being generous. The wagons here do... Cause a bit of issues. Lots of damage against the buildings are gonna force Re Moon to react perhaps sooner than he would have liked. Oh, but there's no web yet. Web is coming now. Not in the front line where he belongs. Waiting for the web to finish, and soon it will be. But that's the last of the coils. No mana potions anymore, no Nova anymore, no coil anymore. Moon on the way forward. This should be an easy fight for Moon. A click now enough as the other is out of mana. Of course, he was extremely, extremely far ahead after the mid game. This right now, this is the easy part of the game. The first 10 minutes, those were difficult. This now is easy peasy. But Moon doesn't want to give away his lead. He's going to TP out, heal up back at home with a whopping 25 supply lead. Getting ready for a third base. Maybe one zero is trying to play the long con here. Moon, of course, is one of the oldest players in the competition. Maybe he's trying to tire him out. One zero probably knows this game is very, very likely lost. But maybe he wants to whittle away at Moon's endurance. The Naga. Not long for this world. Oh, maybe she is. There's Nimbon. If Moon was to switch to Talents, this game would definitely be over. But I mean, it's over regardless. There goes the Naga. There goes the game. It is GG. And Moon with the 1-0 and a really strong performance. Great game plan. Played the Keeper, prevented the Undead expansion, found a good timing for the expansion for himself, and finds the Dryads. Again, the Mass Dryad Expo play was something that we saw in Dreamhack days in Foggy versus Happy, but always had the big difficulty of being pretty damn weak against Wagons and Disease Cloud. But here Moon was so far ahead, he takes that game quite convincingly, I want to say, against the TPL champ, basically. The TPL Season 1, of course, was won by Happy, but of the monthlies, 1 to 0 did the best. There he looked utterly devastating. And he still had a chance to come back. Moon with the 1-0, sure, but you can never sleep on 1 to 0. He gets to choose the next map, 
And in an act of defiance, chooses Twisted Meadows, also known as Moon Meadows. And I'm sure Moon isn't too unhappy to go to this map. Oh, 83% were voting on 120. Well, rip channel points. We're going to start the next prediction soon. In fact, right now, who wins map two? Twisted Meadows. Let's see. And what is the hero for Moon? Keeper, Demon, and Warden are all playable. But Moon not really a Warden player, especially in this matchup. It is the Demon. One to zero could creep an easy expansion and play Expo from there, because Moon's gonna be busy with the first creep camp for a long time. So scouting here is gonna be crucial. That goes for both sides. This isn't the upper bracket semifinal? No! Upper bracket semifinal was yesterday, and the upper bracket final between Happy and Lawlight will be played on Saturday. Acolyte, ready for the harass. Probably gonna try to steal the Shadow Priest away. Yep, there it is. And this can make this creep camp quite complicated. But Moon is ready with a double wisp repair. He's only repairing with one wisp right now, though. That's a bit scary. But here's a third wisp. That should be fine. Huge last hit. And goes to the demon. In fact, the Shadow Priest was pulled back. Oh, and Wotazero is going expanding in an unusual position. Not the normal natural, but at the other gold mine. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it has major drawbacks. It can be harder to get to that base to reinforce compared to the other one. But the distances are fairly similar. Ooh, that's a sick item. Ring of Region. Amazing. Amazing. Team Honor is going to show up to harass here. But he's too late to do anything meaningful. Oh my god, he got the Shadow Priest super easily. One Zero really didn't do a good job protecting that Shadow Priest. But he got the last hit, and that got him level 2. If he had lost the last hit, that would have been really bad news. But yeah, easy creep, easy level 2, and should be an easy expansion for 1 to 0 with Moon having started the tier 2. And normally we would expect a counter expansion. Ooh, I like the placement. Tree of Life proxy in an unusual spot. But it might still get found here. Okay, Moon sells all the items. Giga Chad buys new ones. If you don't like the old items, just buy some new ones. Hashtag capitalism. I don't know if that made sense, but <laughs> doesn't have to. All right, Demon was looking for the cancel, but he may have been a bit too early. What is there? Is he just going to tech now? No. He is expanding. Moon continuing to creep. 2.5 now. And, oh yeah, he's going to find it. I mean, it's a cool proxy place, but it's likely to be spotted regardless. You know, because, well, that's just where you go when you want to scout the left. All right, meaningful cancel here, but also one to zero expansion wasn't super early, and Moon knows that. Going 
going for the tree in the same spot again. It's like a little mind game. Because normally when you cancel the tree there, you would kind of expect Moon to set up the next one in the north. In a different spot, but Moon just says, hell no. Just gonna put it in exactly the right one. The same one. Don Jarito and Jay Salarax with the resub. Thank you. Tier 2. Gonna be finishing soon for Moon. And that should mean a Panda. And a Demon Hunter. Already on level 3 here. And there you see. One of those checking the north. Want to see if the tree was coming up there. But no. Moon thinking one step ahead. Just place it in the same spot as before. If one of those could get the cancel now on the tree, that would be enormous. But it's hard to find that timing window here. DK is close to level 3, but not there yet. Tree is coming pretty close to completion. Also a nice creep position here. He's close to the tree, he could defend it if there were some rules to show up. And... Oh! That was not exactly solo experience for the panda. 1-0 sees the tree, but now it's too late to get a cancel. <laughs> really wants to see that last hit, but Breath of Fire says no! Just like the computer. Panda slowed down a bit though. Didn't get level 2 right away. Won't whoa, 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 whoa. Ancient of Wind? Wait, what? Huh? One lore, one wind? What is that about? That is not the norm. As many, I imagine, all Night Elf players know, countering mass gargs with mass dryads isn't easy. Unless you got Panda level 5. Oftentimes, when you go for few hippos only, it can look terribly bad. Hippos are oftentimes a unit that you have to have in high numbers or not at all. Especially when it goes against Gargs. Or is it maybe gonna be Talons? I haven't seen this before. One lore, one wind. I'm curious. Okay, now we have a second Ancient of Wind. The first Dryad might throw 1 to 0 for a loop. Of course, we got a bunch of gargoyles coming. So it is going to be hippos. Hippos versus gargoyles. Upgrades are insanely important in those matchups. And normally the island has a much easier time getting a lot of lumber thanks to the ghouls. Unless there's a shredder for the elf. That shredder can be easily sniped by the aforementioned gargs. Triple wind. Moon wants to go all out air battles. Kind of cool. The downside, of course, to that is... The one could just switch away from Gargoyles and just go for ground-based army only. And then, all the hippos are useless. Oh, Scourge Bone Chimes. Oh my god. That item is so sick. In Gargs versus Hippos, Scourge Bone Chimes is a sick, sick find. And he's got very good levels. 3-3, three, three, almost 4-3. To zero though, building the bigger army first. 56 supply already, jumping quickly into upkeep.
and no other venom on the demon hunter yet. At the moment, this demon hunter can do literally nothing against gargoyles. But he has very good levels. Oh yeah, good point by Chap saying that he needs tier three. He does he can't even get an orb. He's on tier three. Moon is tier two only. Mass hippos, tier two only. It's kind of a crazy strat. It looks like the main intention here is to just survive that first push. Alchemist with heal spray. Well, that's a very good target to mana burn. Hmm. Okay, I'm not so sure about this alchemist. D mana with the boots very quickly can get it in and out. Second mana burn. <laughs> Ooh, big damage against the ghouls. One heal scroll on each side. I'm just doing a good job with the mana burns over and over. Good positioning on the demon. Buying more time for more production. More hippos are coming. Right now we have uh, seven hippos against ten gargs. Demon with the boots, baby. Another burn. Okay, this alchemist. Only one heal spray. Not gonna lie. It lo didn't look that good. And upgrade wise, Moon is starting to catch up. 1-1 one, one against 2-1. Yeah, I think Moon wins this fight easily now. With the help of the Panda, Dragon Ace with the Fire, of course. The burns were beautiful. Moon only taking the fight now. And he used the Breath of Fire, not the Drunken Haze, to bait the first uh, stone form. Using the Drunken Haze after, Moon is playing an insanely well played Twisted Manos here. Air fight though, who does it go to? It's still pretty close. The Scourge Bone Chimes doing a lot of work, also helping the Demon Hunter, by the way, who's dropping low. There is no staff on Moon, but a TP, and the Hippos do win the air fight. Quite convincingly. It's level 4, also for the Panda. 1 to 0, calls it. GG. Game over. Moon wins the second map as well. This was only about 12 minutes. Moon moves up to match point. Great play today by him. And 1 to 0, not showing his best face. Moon, one step ahead, all the way. Seems like finally Moon is getting some revenge here. He was struggling against one to zero, and also against other undeads, like of course Happy, before. But this is looking really, really good today. Moon here, where it counts most, looking great, puts himself in a wonderful position to win this series with a two zero. But of course, you must not get complacent. 1 to 0 is a player who we've come seen who we've seen come back from the most devastatingly difficult positions. So Moon need keep, needs to keep up this level of play, but so far it was just amazing. Just amazing. Map 1 super impressive, and I think also map 2 super impressive. The first 5 minutes of map 2 there wasn't that much to do, honestly, but the, the strategy the tech switches, the way he bought time, and especially late game. Finding the undead out in the open, starting to burn before the fight begins. I guess in that way it was very similar, right? Moon was intercepting 1-0 to zero in the middle of the map before Frenzy and everything was ready and was burning the heroes fast and early, slightly before 1-0 to zero was ready to take that fight. Beautiful. Perfect sense of timing by Moon. Absolutely wonderful play so far by him. But the next map... Is going to be, I would say, the most difficult. Turtle Rock is a horrible map for Night Elf to expand on. So here, Moon might be forced into a one base game. And this is normally not Moon's strength. His strength is the macro. His strength is the multitasking, hit and run, finding specific windows in a somewhat unusual fashion sometimes. Here on Turtle Rock, it's most likely going to be one base, one base, straight down the middle, creeping tier three. These kinds of games are what players like Happy and Colorful and Kaho tend to favor.
If Moon can also play just as well as he did before here on this micro map, I will be very, very impressed. Bit of an acolyte pull. Wait, what's the engine of war doing? It's just chilling there. <laughs> Slippers. Always an item that the demon loves to find. Wait, DK starting off with coil? Wait, what? What? Now he's gonna get burned a couple of times. Huh? Kind of a weird start for 1 to 0 already. His mana's gone. He doesn't have the aura. Does have the faster tech though. Moon decided to go for a 2 Moonwell tech. It's a bit on the later side. Uh, 3 Moonwell tech, of course, I mean. What is they're lucky not to get burned again. But the choice there to go to the shop with Coil, I think he wanted to buy the circlet. But the demon was there, didn't allow him. Oh, detonate! Oh, big one! Gets two skellies and burns the DK. But that creep will be level 2 for the Death Knight. Very important. Aura now unlocked. If one of them just steals one of the creeps, this would have been very nice for him. I love how Wisps, uh, Moon is using these Wisps early game. Very well done. He's also got a lot of archers early. There was a lot of production of the archers. But now it stops at 3. And Moon will need to... Pick up the creep tempo as well. Low level demon hunter is not good in this matchup. Oh, archers. Whoops. A bit asleep on the wheel. So it's four archers, in fact. Oh, didn't wake up the creeps. Bit of a mistake there by Moon, I think. If he wakes up the creeps there, that would have been a nice play. Alright, and now creeping continues for Moon. Gonna get level 2. Nice scouting. Moon has wisps in many locations. Can check for enemy positions. items for the demon hunter as well oh detonate again there was a twofer i been investing quite a few wisps early game to be honest two wisps already detonated or was it three i think it was two. Oh, the naga from the tavern oh finds a ghoul as well dude moon again shining but it's only the early game this is only the first ghoul that died or is it Here comes the tier 3, very fast. Before any Ancients of Lore. Oh, Moon wants to get more kills. Might be able to get the second ghoul right there. Two swipes. Damn! Two ghoul kills. Oh my god. If he gets the uh, Slaughterhouse cancel, that would be a disaster. But I don't think... There's enough damage for such an attempt. Interesting that Moon is going tier 3 so fast instead of quicker dryads. I wonder why. Maybe he just wants to have the bear master training ready quickly before the frenzy push hits. That would be the most logical assumption. Because of course the frenzy timing nowadays is quite scary. Oh, 
Skelly wakes up the creeps. Makes things a bit difficult. Wait, is Moon creeping the red camp? With the demon hunter, I guess he is. That is very unconventional creeping. One zero gonna claim the shop here between the two bases. But remember, this is new turtle rock. There's no runes anymore in this map. Go with the Magi. Very nice for the Naga. Oh my god. So many creeps here. The neighboring orange camp. Good word. Upset about the pacifism ending. Alright, Demon level 3, Naga level 2, Moon in a good spot. Doesn't have a shop yet, but soon we'll have it. And pick up the Orb of Venom. Shop is very far forward, by the way. I wonder if that one isn't a bit too exposed. Moon now creeping very safely. He knows the hammer of the tier 3 frenzy timing might come down any second. There we go. Frenzy finished. Time to pick up the Naga and go. There's a wisp at the tavern. Moon again, perfectly aware, knows exactly when this attack is hitting. Does he have the time to get the last item? We took a lot of damage from this camp, by the way. Not a good item. It's gonna TP out. Definitely will need to get some heal potions. Master training on the bears is finished. One bear comes out. Moonstone right away. Got an orb of venom already. No heal pot is a bit unusual. Next big consumable. 1 to 0 grabs it. Scroll of the beast. Uh, not that good. All right, here we go. The push was a bit delayed, but now it's coming in earnest. The man on the front line getting possibly surrounded right away. There is a staff for him, of course. One is trying to pull 1-0 to zero in the depths of his base, force him into a bad position, while also trying to burn as much as he can. On map 2 with boots, getting in position with the demon hunter for the burn is easy. Here, without boots, it's a lot harder. The man gets off another big burn. There's a one of mana ceiling on the DK. That's a phenomenal item against Night Elf. Bears running away. Archers getting nuked as well. The Nova's doing a lot of work. Naga in trouble, by the way. Potion was there, I think, to heal her. Many of the ghouls, very low HP now, but not dead yet. The Demon Hunter needs to try to find the kills in the follow-up. But there's a dispel against the Rejuve. Demon in trouble. There needs to be a staff! Oh, didn't staff the Demon in time! I think because the Naga was still in animation of the Fork Lightning. That's a big mistake. That's a big mistake by Moon. That's something that players oftentimes forget. When you are in animation of a spell, you can't use items. That puts one to zero far ahead. Stab was on cooldown there. The demon is trying to be tavern revived. But it seems like one to zero is getting on the board on this map. Moon in one base play, seemingly still not the greatest. This is often where Moon's biggest weakness lies when he cannot expand on a given map. Trying his darndest still, but Moon is looking in a desperate situation here. Supply stuck at 34 out of 30. And still unable to find the kills to get the big level ups. Naga not 3, Demon not 4. Oh, that Coil Nova hurts! Ouchie! This Demon not even close to as tanky as we saw before. And Moon has to call it. GG. There we go. 1 to 0.
We see him looking relieved. Dodges the 3 0. The Night Elves in the last few days look very successful. Lawlight had a 3 0. Colorful had a 3 0. Moon today will not get the 3 0. But he will get map choice for our fourth map, which is Concealed Hill. A map where expanding is very much possible, unlike Turtle Rock. I wonder what the fifth map would be. I'm pretty sure 1 to 0 vetoed Lost Temple. Lost Temple game between these two would be epic. But uh, I doubt we'll see that today. Yeah, we're not told by the admins which player vetoes what. But uh, we could guess. So, let's take a look at these vetoes. Concealed Hill, we're going to see this, we're going to see this. I think if I was one to zero, if I was one to zero, I would veto Terra Stand and Lost Temple. Oh yeah, that's it. We only have two vetoes. Right, right, right. So what did Moon veto? Probably Hammerfall and Tight Hunters then. Kind of weird, honestly. I feel like the number one Nidal veto should be Turtle Rock normally. Northern Isle seems like a pretty neutral map nowadays. Well, perhaps we will see later. Right now, we're moving on to good old Concealed Hill. This is a map we see in almost every matchup, a very well-balanced map throughout the years. And a map where if you want to expand, you have to play Keeper. But it's not Keeper, it's Demon Hunter regardless. The moon might be trying the same thing again. Level up the demon, get a you fast level Jonathan 3, Jonathan pick up some Jonathan items, be strong in the mid game, and then get ready for the frenzy onslaught. That's the first big test. Night elves always have to survive against undead. The frenzy timing. We've been seeing a lot of orcs, especially the Lin, invest heavily in defense, towers and reinforce and all that. Shouldn't Night Elves just make one AP to hold on against the push? AP isn't even that expensive. It's something we saw from nobody pretty much so far. Moon again with a three Moonwell tech, but still making it to tier two nice and fast. AP 60 lumber, that's a lot. I mean, is it? Wait, what are these wisps doing? Work towers are 100 or. 110, I think 100. I think you can afford it. Red Moon is trying to evacuate the Wisps. He knows a big ghoul attack is coming. And 1 to 0. I think he spotted some of the Wisps. He does have a dust, by the way, so these archers have to be careful. Moon needs to be very fast in moving these away. We have immolation first to deal with this attack. Wisp goes down. Demon Hunter pretty much has to defend this by himself because the archers just have to keep running. Okay, very close to level 2. One kill for the level 2 and the coil would go a long way. But the Wisp losses have been 
Certainly minimized. But I think one archer is about to die here. With the DK on the chase. Hunter's Hall is coming. Graveyard on the other side. Oh, the archer could wake up the creeps, maybe. Oh, Moon. Is he going to do it? Wake up the creeps. Moon. Ah, uh, small mistake there, unfortunately. But the demon also gets level 2. Same time as the DK. AP is 195 gold if you take the Whisper into consideration. Yeah, sure. But if you make the AP shortly before your tier 3, you don't really need that many Wisps. You can sacrifice one Wisp. So it's not exactly that simple. We're going to take this game as a case study. I have an earlier lore this time. So quicker dryads, this tier 3 might be delayed just a little bit. And we're going to be trading some units. If the Nightlife can trade ghouls for archers, that's normally a good trade for him. And so far, this is going to be 3 for 3, I think. 3 archers for 3 ghouls. Or maybe only 2 archers? I think it was 3 for 3. Good start for Moon, I would say. Only downside is... He has low experience on the demon. Oh, there's another ghoul back there somewhere. Moon knows it. He's chasing for the kill. Might cost him the Naga, though. Oh. <laughs> Naga taking a beating from this Death Knight. And we're going to tier 3. Now I'm trying to save herself. Oh, a nice shadow meld. Death Knight. Uh oh, wait. Is the DK dead? Couple more right clicks. Cold arrow. Oh, oh my god. Whew. Moon trying to intercept. If he gets the kill here, the game's basically over. But he doesn't have the boots. The DK is getting away. Whoo. Close call. Both on the way to tier 3. And we almost had the block there with the Wisp. Nice play by 1-0, realizing there was a Wisp perhaps. Use the Nova. Neutralizes the block. Alright, perfect timing to go for an AP would be when the Unit starts the Frenzy. That's of course very hard for the Night of in the game to assess. But we have the luxury to be able to assess it, right? So, let's take a look. Like, around 8 minutes might be a reasonable time. So. I'm the tier 3 done now. Here we go. Here comes the Frenzy. And look at the night of resources. It seems to me like he could afford an AP. Place an AP. You got enough lumber. Got enough gold. Seems doable. Of course, I am, again, aware that it's very hard as a Nile to make the perfect call as to when Frenzy is coming. That's a lot easier for us. But this whole time, Moon has a bit of extra gold, seemingly. Wonder Zero needs to catch up a bit on levels. The DK was running around a lot, wasn't creeping for a long time. In fact, the Demoner isn't level 3 either. But both should be getting it now. Cat goes pipe. Ooh, that's a good item. That's a very good item. The Naga finding the mana potion is okay. But he would have probably preferred something else. Oh, this should be Demon 3, right? Yeah, okay. Very important level. Moon's army. Still pretty small, though. He's trying to get out more bears. He's got master training. Destroyer form is ready, but no destroyer in the air yet. Moondress is looking okay. 
But this again is a difficult hold. Oh, focus on the Naga right away. Just trying to save her, get to the back, but can't hold. Naga just goes down. And the frenzy push might be working again. The Naga dead, controlling anything here and finding kills is very difficult. Also, there's no staff now to save the Demon Hunter. Maybe the TP on the wrong hero. Perhaps it shouldn't have been on the Demon, but rather on the Naga. And one to zero now. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. You can just target one thing after the next. The sustain from Statue and the Aura is just amazing. Bear about to fall 1 to 0 with a big lead. That's a level up for him as well. With the Lich getting very close also to 3, it seems to me that we'll be going to a f that will be going to a fifth map. Yes indeed. Only 10 minutes 30. Enough for 1 to 0 to close the deal. It seemed like 1 to 0 would most like to play a one base push strat kind of a game. No expansions, no nonsense. And yeah, we've been seeing it time and time again. Holding these pushes is not easy, dude. When the frenzy timing hits, it gets very, very scary. All right. Moon, with an incredible start. Wait, I didn't even enter the result here before. Whoops. The first two maps looked insanely good. Map 5 will go to Tidehunters. I would like to see Moon go back to expansion play in the two-base territory. I feel like he is much more of a threat. That's much more his natural state of playing. The one base micro game, that was never really his thing. Of course, there is a complication there. Some maps you can't expand. Some maps you have to play one base. Especially maps like Turtle Rock. But Tidehunters, you can expand. You certainly can. And I think you might even be able to expand without a keeper. All right, off we are. Map five decision. Is there going to be a keeper though? Finally. Keeper is very popular on this map. It is Keeper indeed. Moon tilting the head, shaking off a bit of the rust. Although the first two maps didn't look rusty at all. Those look clean. Squeaky clean. But 1 2 0 was shaken awake after that, proving to us that he is not a player to underestimate. That is what we learned throughout the Here first TP League this year, the first team. season, where he was very successful. Uh. Scouting Acolyte dies very easily. That one didn't achieve much at all. Keeper with the ring. Not too happy as that being the first item. But again, it's going to be very good for a second hero. DK goes for the circlet. Wait. I see level 1 ghoul harassing. Against the Keeper, that would be a weird choice. 
No, it's just gonna start creeping here, I guess. <sighs> Could imagine if the DK gets surrounded. That would have been a quick first hero kill. Oh my god, is he stuck here? Oh my god, he's stuck! He's got the cloak! But with a wisp at the lab, he might be able to detect the Death Knight here. Oh, trying to free his way. Oof. Man. Without the cloak there, I guess he's dead. Lucky break for 1 to 0. But we do not see an expansion yet. We see a Huntress, in fact. There was this one legendary game. Rakaho defeated Happy with Keeper 1 base. But in all my life, I've only seen that once. Happy being beaten by a Keeper 1 base. So, it's not very advisable. blood gets the turtle as well and that's the level two moon seems to be falling behind here still no expansion Three hunts is normally the number where you want to stop because of how much weaker they get later on. And what is there a scouting? He's looking for an expansion. But none is coming. What is Moon doing? Is he gonna try to AP push? Like what is going on here? I'm quite confused. Well, that hump just might go down. Losing one of only few hunts is painful. Yep. Oh, no way. The hall to the dead gets the huntress. Dude, what is... <laughs> I don't get what this... But Moon is playing here. Aggressive Keeper, Demon second. I guess he's also playing the one base. Yeah, he's gonna go tier 3. He's gonna play Keeper, Demon. This is also what Kaho played in that amazing game against Happy. Comes in at the perfect time to maybe see some last hits here. Oh, didn't get that one though. Almost level three. Already on this death knight. Oh, where's detonate? There we go. That's level three. Demon is out. Lich on the way. Tier 3 in Q. Potion, always a nice find. Big camp for the demon hunter right away. This demon needs levels, of course. Engine of War! Oh my god. He denies that. That's bad news, but that's a great item. Rune Bracers for the demon hunter. That's exactly what Moon wanted to see. And double rings. The demon sturdy already. 
Give him a parry up as well, and he's gonna be super tanky. I think the skelly just stole the asset of the level four creep. Moon trying to get ready. It's not sort of creeping the demon though. Moon is stealing experience with the keeper. That looks like a mistake. The demon now not gonna get level three from this camp. here, of course, are very, very important. Alright, Naga third, Frenzy is ready, Destroyer is coming, here we have the push again, as we've seen so many times before. And the Demon Hunter is almost level 3, Ring of Region, amazing item. But he needs a little bit more XP, just a little bit more. Moon out in the open. One of the wind! But there is a staff. Burn. Staff. Oh, one of the wind. That's gonna force the TP. Most likely. Oh, the bears. Oh, Moon. Starting to make some mistakes. If he TPs out there, there's no need for the rest of the army to be close by. Trying to fight a good creep jack position here. But the level 1 mana burn is a joke. Death Knight level 4, Lich 3, Naga almost 2. It seems like 1 to 0 is making the comeback happen here. Oh my god, the keeper is just getting absolutely obliterated by these nukes. Almost dead already. No right clicks coming in from him. The bear falls. That's level 2, Naga. The demon can't keep up with the mana burn. Three. Oh, TK has the invuln though, pops it right away to get out of the entangle. And what is there again? Able to find kill after kill. The demon hunter severely underleveled this game. Now at long last level three. But late. Seemingly too late. Ten supply lead for one two zero. These last three maps have been pretty predictable. Just a frenzied timing. Enough to finish the job. Staff home into the waiting arms of 120. Coiled and killed. And Moon will be eliminated here today, which is a bit heartbreaking. The first two maps were so insanely well played by Moon. Incredible. But the one base play still isn't his. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to make his expansions work on all maps. Maybe there's something to be reconsidered about map vetoes. Especially Turtle Rock. Seemed to be a weird map to leave in the pool. Trying really hard to get this DK. But with Ring of Region and all the other healing, that is very tough. And even the DK dies, does it really matter? I don't know. Seems like 1-0 can easily afford a hero loss, maybe even two. Zeppelin here is a nice touch. Death Knight safe with that. And there it is. Calls for the GG. 1 2 0. Does get the reverse sweep. Just like Happy did yesterday. 1 2 0. Does today. And he's a bit camera shy as well, so he turns it off right away. 
moon with this eliminated. 1 to 0 lives on, fights on in the lower bracket.